always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Showers and storms have moved through, and some of us are actually seeing a few breaks in the clouds, but all in all, the next 24 hours is going to be mostly cloudy. This is a look at Allendale right now. You can still see a stiff breeze. The wind in Allendale coming in at about 22 miles per hour. That's the steady wind, not even the gusts. Allendale still kind of on the mild side, 60 degrees, and I think we're all in that air mass right now. So we're all dealing with the same similar conditions. Grand Rapids, you can see some puddles of water from the thunderstorm action that rolled through the city earlier today. My goodness, the sky sure looked dark. This is the latest on Storm Track Live. And you can see that we've quieted down quite a bit. We still have a few scattered showers in Muskegon County and Nuego County. These are moving in at about 40 miles per hour. So they've already tracked through Whitehall and they're headed towards Holt at this point in time. So we are going to see them track, uh, for the most part, almost due east. Most likely this is going to be impacting communities near Muskegon, Muskegon Heights, Norton Shores, and further to the north. So Ravenna, you might see a quick shower. We're not expecting much. Same goes for Nuego. Now, as we look at uh, our area as a whole, you can see most of us are dry at this point in time, even though we have mostly cloudy conditions. And we did have a few storm reports from earlier today, but most of them were fairly light as far as storm reports go. Really scattered, a few hail reports in Lansing from that storm that had a tornado warning attached to it, and mostly just some light to moderate wind damage. So we're talking about a few trees mainly that uh, ended up being knocked down either on power lines or sometimes in some cases property. But again, not widespread. Hourly planner, sprinkle possible, temperatures dipping into the 50s by 10, and the wind is going to be slowly settling down. So here's a look at your hourly winds. By the time we get to 6 a.m. tomorrow, about 13, tomorrow around noon, around 10 miles per hour. So much easier to take than what we experienced today. Shower chances for Thursday, we're expecting one or two quick showers in the afternoon. But Thursday, most of the rain arrives after dark. So if you have plans that wrap up before 8 o'clock, you shouldn't have to really worry about the rain too much, just that quick afternoon shower chance. Plenty of sunshine is expected Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Here's a weekend preview. Keep in mind, Saturday is going to be breezy. Winds out of the west at 15 to 20. Sunday, 54 degrees, sunny and cool. So all in all, we're going to be clearing out, but it kind of takes a day for us to get to pretty quiet conditions. Here's the system that's bringing us shower chances for Thursday. So 10 a.m., we're dry. By the time we get to the afternoon, you can see a quick shower chance passing through, and there's the bigger batch Thursday night into Friday. It does wrap up really quickly, though. Friday, sunshine through most of the day, 52 degrees. Friday is also going to be breezy. So if we can get through the wind Friday, Saturday, we can just enjoy all of the sunshine. My goodness, the sky got so dark today with those storms coming yeah. through. Glad we didn't Something see else. too much damage. Yeah. yeah, that is good news. Thank you, Ellen.